All right, so overnight there has been a massive spike in the death toll. 425 people have now lost their lives due to the virus. 64 new deaths were reported in China and all the casualties were in the Hubei province. More than 3,000 positive cases were identified in a single day. People are now asking whether China is downplaying the actual intensity of this outbreak. Independent reports claim that the actual number of infected may be as high as 70,000 in the city of Wuhan. The city of Hongzhou has been under lockdown and three districts in uh, in an effort to control the outbreak. Now, two cities in eastern China have also been under a lockdown between them. The two cities account for more than 9 million people. Xiogun, a city in Hubei province, has reported 1,120 infections, becoming the third city in China to have more than 1,000 positive cases. Now, masks remain crucial in containing the outbreak. The regional government in Yangjing uh, County has banned civil servants from using the N95 masks. The idea is to ensure that enough of these masks are available for the citizens, even if it comes at the expense of government officials. Companies manufacturing these masks have also seen a spike uh, in profits as a result of the shortage. Meanwhile, China's ambitious thousand-bed hospital is now open to patients. It took just 10 days for the country to finish the construction. And according to reports, China's People's Liberation Army has sent 1,400 medical workers to operate these hospitals. The World Health Organization has warned all the countries dealing with the coronavirus outbreak by preparing and not by panicking. At a press briefing in Geneva, the director of Global Infections Hazard uh, Preparedness has elaborated about the global collaboration of WHO and Google to narrow down on all the information regarding the virus. This to avoid spread of misinformation on the Internet. The other activities we are doing is also trying to uh, reach out uh, to more people. Uh, of course, there is a WHO uh, uh, a website uh, where people can access quite easily now because the novel coronavirus is on the front page. Uh, but what we have noticed in previous outbreak is that usually people have too much information. And so now we are partnering with other uh, groups such as Google, and they have launched a new project called SOS Alert. Uh, and, and this will help people to uh, have uh, in one place uh, all the information they can, have on, on, they can find on, on coronavirus. And uh, so this will be a triaging as well, so that people have an easier access to uh, key information.